Hey everybody, this is Perch. Well, we've got news that Warner Media is actually getting around to potentially rebooting or at least starting new films with Superman. We had the Zack Snyder cut. Well, we haven't had it. Where it's coming in uh, in March in just a couple short weeks now. Uh, they've been hyping this up uh, pretty well. And then, of course, we have the Robert Patterson Batman movie coming after that. Well, now we have word of what they're planning to do with Superman. And it uh, rumor has it, uh, to a strong rumor, uh, it's, it's being reported in a number of different sources at this point, that a Superman movie uh, reboot, although the word reboot seems to be more the writers than anything coming out of the studio, uh, a reboot is in the works. Uh, it will be produced by J.J. Abrams' Bad Robot uh, Company. Abrams uh, signed a deal for Bad Robot that was uh, with Warner Media a year ago, looking at uh, the Justice League Dark series for HBO Max. Uh, it's going to be part of the Constantine reboot. J.J. Abrams, in theory, has a lot of projects coming to Warner Media, and this is probably going to be one of the more high-profile ones. Keep in mind, though, this is, is Abrams' studio producing it. This doesn't mean that J.J. Abrams is actually directing it. Uh, that is, uh, you know, his name is getting attached to it, but we don't actually know um, who is, uh, in theory, really attached to it. Uh, Hannah Minghella is producing. That's a name attached to the reboot, uh, if it comes to pass. Uh, we don't have any actors attached to the movie. Uh, Henry Cavell has said he wouldn't mind coming back to do it again, but um, we, we know nothing where that's concerned. And then, um, as well, uh, this plot, uh, the, the the script is being written by Ta Tanishi Coates. Tanishi Coates uh, is, of course, known for comic writers. He's been working uh, in on Black Panther and Captain America, writer for The Atlantic, wrote the book uh, Between the World and Me, several other uh, uh, titles. Um, Tanishi Ta Coates is writing Wrong Answer. It's a film that is going to combine Ryan Coogler and Michael B. Jordan. Of course, that director and that star worked on the Black Panther film. Uh, Tanishi Coates' script, I think, was heavily influential in terms of uh, what that movie ultimately was. I think his, his kind of world building of Wakanda uh, really formed kind of the foundation of what would be that movie. So uh, there's already some rumors uh, out there that uh, the addition of Tanishi Coates and um, the fact they're working uh, together um, and that Michael B. Jordan actually pitched uh, Warners on a Superman reboot starring himself that uh, we could be looking at uh, Michael B. Jordan as a replacement uh, for uh, Henry Cavell, uh, which would be uh, a very different take on Superman, obviously. Um, and there was apparently some interest in from Warner uh, Media of, uh, you know, this as being a possible, uh, you know, route they might want to go down. Michael B. Jordan is a is a, you know, bankable box office star, obviously, uh, it does not it obviously is a different race than what we're used to seeing from Superman. So that'd be a very, very different take. Um, but, you know, at the same time, if you're Warner Media, uh, Jordan does have some box office credit to his name. And I'm sure that's of interest to them. Um, so I'm sure everybody will take this news with uh, with complete calmness and not any kind of <laughs> upset, uh, you know, uh, comments. It is interesting to consider that Tanishi Coates basically in the span of what could be uh, a few years, will have written the, uh, you know, the, you know, truth, justice in the American way, uh, Superman and the uh, Star Spangled Avenger, uh, Captain America. Um, given some of his his work that he's done in the past, it's interesting to see him so rooted to characters that have in the past at least represented America. It's, it's a different take. Um, shifting gears for just a moment, we'll get back to this in a second. Uh, Abrams has not a stranger to Superman. He's pitched Warner Media before and got very very close. He had a a, a trilogy that he was uh, had gotten pretty far along in the early two thousands called Superman Flyby. And it was basically going to completely uh, revamp the Superman mythology. It was going to reveal that Krypton still existed as a planet, and that uh, you know that Lex Luthor was not a kind of billionaire industrialist. He was actually a uh, government agent who was a UFO obsessed, uh, you know, fed fed, um, and that uh, we would really kind of lean into the Krypton of the mythology. Uh, a lot of you know, plots around, um, uh, you know, Jor-El and Katazor and kind of just, you know, Kryptonian politics. 
Why that's potentially interesting is I have heard, you know, there's been rumors coming out that for the Superman franchise, as people have struggled with what would be a new take to it, um, they've often referenced things like Game of Thrones, of having a, you know, palace intrigue and a lot of uh, kind of different kingdom uh, you know, pieces to it. And so if you combine that, you know, Abrams' original pitch, this kind of desire from Warner Media to have a more uh, Game of Thrones political, you know, intrigue and palace dynamics plot, and uh, Tanishi Coates, who, you know, his, his the, the kind of rep he now has is somebody who world builds in terms of very kind of dense, um, you know, cities and mythologies and governments like he did in, in Black Panther that then got translated to a movie that was very successful for Disney. So if you put all those pieces together, it feels like, uh, you know, the, the you start to get kind of get a window at least into what might be asked for. Um, if they, there is concern, certainly about doing the same old Superman take, then something that really leans into, you know, Krypton mythology and kind of how that society was built and what they were doing and everything else, you start to wonder a little bit if uh, Tanishi Coates's last run of Black Panther, which introduced kind of this uh, star-faring, um, you know, intergalactic empire of Wakanda, you, you start to wonder if some of that is uh, was, was like, you know, working for the job. <laughs> And it does, you, you know, you, you again, very, very early to speculate. We've got one article here that basically says that uh, Abrams and Coates are assigned to this film. Could never happen. There's uh, a long, and people need to keep this in mind before they go too insane. There's a long history of Superman films that never came to be. There's even Superman films about Superman films that never came to be, in particular the one that had Nick Cage attached to it for a while. Um, so, you know, who knows if any of this actually takes place. But what we do know is that Warner Media is uh, definitely still invested in the characters. They want to continue to push these these franchises and these properties, exploring their multiverse. They think there's a lot of money that they're leaving on the table right now by not doing more with it. And so, and and that combined with the deal that they did sign with with J.J. Abrams and Bad Robot, feels like a foregone conclusion that there's a lot of content that's likely coming from that direction. And the uh, Superman mythologies and everything else does. Does does make sense? Um, so, um, where where does this leave us? Well, we're not going to hear anything for a while. Um, it's going to be likely, I think, confirmed that at least some investigation is going on. Then I would say it's you know somewhere around four to six months from now we'll start to hear a little bit more if this project is actually picking up and going or not. Um, for the next month or so, I would imagine that Warner Media and AT and T will want focus on Zack Snyder's uh, Justice League since. They're really pinning that as something that is a centerpiece of that streaming service, and they want to get people involved in that. So the last thing they want to do is uh, kind of take away attention from it. They also have their new uh, Superman and Lois show that kind of debuted to pretty good uh, reviews and ratings. And so I think th that's going to be the focus for the next several months. Uh, meanwhile, uh, as it does, I suspect that the Internet will take up the charge of marketing this film for it by giving lots of opinions on in particular, Tanishi Coates, and maybe maybe less or so, uh, how many lens flare effects J.J. Abrams will use for <laughs> the film. Um, but what do you think? I, I, it's it's an interesting casting choice. Um, again, I, I tried to lay out some of the different kind of pieces that have come up over the years. Uh, Michael B. Jordan's name isn't attached to anything. Just want to make that completely clear. He pitched Warner Media on this. There was you know at least some interest in his pitch, and we never really heard anything after that. Uh, just, you know, these are, these are different pieces in play. Um, you know, I, I, for what it's worth, I haven't been a fan of Tanishi Coates's work at Marvel. I think it's, uh, it, it hasn't really caught. Uh, I do think you can make the argument and I think you'd be crazy not to that his work on Black Panther certainly was an inspiration for that movie. Um, uh, and that they, they kind of went, uh, pretty aggressive, um, in that direction. Ryan Coogler took a lot from that run. And I think that helped flesh out the film and it, it helped bring about kind of this very different feeling film, this, this film that Disney was certainly very proud of in terms of the environment it created. Uh, but in terms of the comics themselves, I haven't, I haven't found them very engaging. I think the cap run is, is, uh, is just not a great run. Um, but, but, and I do think uh, Tanisha Coates bears responsibility for that. At the same time, you also have to point out that you know, Nick Spencer left us with, you know, a Hydra Nazi cap at the end of his run. 
And so it wasn't like the character was in amazing shape and then uh, Tanisha Coates came in and wrecked it. It's, it's kind of like Captain America needs like a, you know, like to be, <laughs> it needs to, to have a major change uh, just in general, I, I think, to get that character kind of back on, back on people's maps. But what do you think? Are you into it? Are you going to watch this movie? Are you going to hate it? Are you going to uh, make a lot of videos about it? it? Let me know in the comments below what you think of this casting choice, what you think about where you'd like to speculate about where it can all go. It's very early again. Uh, like and subscribe. You can follow me and uh, get all the information about where I'm at in the description to this video. And thanks for listening.